Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I read Glitch in the Matrix stories, usually. Stories that are just strange. Now let's get right into it. Story title. I think I died three years ago. Everything is unfamiliar. Memories are non-existent. Author name. Dead Away 2021. I'm typing this on a throwaway second account, because as much as I need to pour all these thoughts out, I'm embarrassed by how out there this might all seem. I don't remember anything before the age of 19. There's no clear explanation for this. I do see a neurologist for my epilepsy, but I have no history of concussion, head trauma, anything that would explain such memory loss. I haven't even had a seizure in years. I'm pretty sure doctors think I over-exaggerate, as they say there's no reason my memory should be like this. I don't do drugs, I don't drink, I don't have any diagnosis to explain any of it. The memories I do have are patched together using the medical records, psychiatric treatment, typical teenager things like depression and anxiety, nothing too unusual. But there are notes from inpatient stays which are helpfully descriptive, and from what I've heard from other relatives. My mom is the closest to me, but she doesn't like opening up a lot. I've asked about my past or about my medical records, and she quickly becomes uncomfortable and upset. She gave up her job to take care of me in high school. I graduated in 2017, and she's still unemployed. Something I feel guilty about, so I don't bring it up. My earliest solid memory that feels real, and not made up by secondary sources, is the first time my boyfriend picked me up. We matched on Tinder. It was January, snowing, dark and late at night. I was 19. I was a very sleepy person back then. I remember I'd sleep the entire time until it was time for me to go back home. He's still lovely. He's taught me many tiny things. I may be able to walk, talk, function like any other adult, but I have zero life experience, which takes some patience to deal with. The hardest part to put into words of this whole thing is why I haven't noticed any of this earlier. Why at 22 is this like a weird revelation? It felt like I just randomly woke up in this body one day, and I didn't think much about it until 3 years later. It's a lot to take in, I guess. And I'm getting more annoyed with this body, day by day. This entire time, this body has been a pain in the butt. And that's where I came up with this theory that this body should've and might've died some time ago. First off, my teeth. God, my teeth. I get questions from dentists, why are your teeth like that? And I have to give them some crap response like, I took a lot of medicines as a teen. Or whatever seems fitting from my medical records. I just so quickly try to make sensible answers rather than just saying, I don't know. The pain, there's holes in my teeth, they're rotted. Why the hell are they like this? I don't know, but it's freaking painful. It's like I have the damn teeth of a corpse. And my lungs, my chest, everything hurts. Damn asthmatic lungs. I never feel hungry either. But I do like pizza and coffee, call that basic. But eating drinking is more pleasure than necessity for me. Not an issue, as I am always tempted into cravings. Another annoyance is the obligations, eating, drinking as I mentioned, an important obligation nevertheless. Calling my dad and other relatives, I forget often because I don't have much memories of them, but I'm fully aware it's an important social obligation, yet here I am, still in this weird body, keeping up with all my obligations and responsibilities and all that. It's all strange, weird. I'm happy that I wrote it all down though got it all out, even as incoherent as this may seem. But reading some of the posts in the sub showed me that I'm not alone in this sort of experience. Personal Thoughts So there's two avenues here. The first is that it sounds like this could be a dissociative event, but it's enduring for a long time though. I'm no psychologist, so I would never pretend to diagnose you, or even discount the possibility that maybe something else is afoot here. That's what I'm saying that there's two possible avenues. The fact that you can't remember anything before the age of 19 
makes me wonder if something traumatic happened to you that your subconscious is trying to protect you from. It's a possible suggestion, but perhaps hypnotherapy could be a viable course for you. But I would suggest talking with a psychologist first, if that's something on the table for you. You know the first thing supernatural that pops into my head while reading this? If it isn't an issue with your brain, then it almost feels like your soul is disconnected from your body somehow. I don't want to scare you, hell, I don't even know how that could happen. It's just what enters my brain after reading this. Second Story Story Title The Spooky Stair Spirit Author Name Crepuscular Gloom Hiya. I was talking about ghosts recently with my mom, as her side of the family is pretty spiritually sensitive, especially her mom, or my nana. I mentioned I only wanted to move into a new build, since it won't be haunted and it's unlikely anyone would have died in it. My mom just looked at me and said, A new build doesn't guarantee it's not haunted. Enter name of childhood house was the most haunted house we lived in and that was only an 8 year old construction and no one died in it. I was pretty surprised by this. I don't remember the house very well and asked my mom to explain. My mom said that whenever she was alone, if she was sat on the sofa that she could see into the stairs, she felt very watched. If she moved to the other sofa, it would stop. So it was only ever when she was in view of the stairs that she felt watched. She also, when she was shutting off for the night, as soon as she turned off the light, she would rush up the stairs because the feeling was very sinister on the stairs, but the feeling would stop as soon as she was in the landing. The sinister watching presence was only ever on the stairs. My mom got my nana to come over and see if she could pick up anything, but surprisingly, she didn't notice anything. When we sold the house, my mom was talking to our neighbor, my best friend's mother, and mentioned she always had a funny feeling in the house, so she didn't really mind leaving it. Our neighbor then apparently said, Oh yeah, the woman in the house before you used to complain about a sinister spirit on the stairs that made her feel watched. Obviously, my mom was pretty shocked by this, as she thought maybe it was never there since my nana couldn't detect anything at all. In all my other stories, including the French Nazi ghost brothel hotel story, and the other malevolent spirit to do with my mom, were detected by her, so she can obviously sense malevolent spirits. I have plenty of other stories, like the ones mentioned above, as well as a couple about ghosts that gave accurate premonitions and accurate psychic readings that my mom has had. So if anyone is interested, I might make a subsequent post. Thanks for reading. Personal Thoughts So this reminds me of old stories where ghosts or entities are mistakenly assumed when it's just old plumbing or heating or even electric work from old buildings. In newer builds, this factor is eliminated. But yeah, there still are hauntings reported. But I personally don't think hauntings are malevolent in nature, at least very rarely. My guess is that what people perceive as sinister is just an unsettling feeling something they can't quite put their finger on, would be a spirit trying to push through the barrier but not quite being able to, hence why lights might flicker, noises would be made, etc. Because a spirit can't break the barrier, just almost touch the other side but not quite. It's like their energy is just slightly pushed in but not all the way. Which if we adopt the quantum immortality theory, this spirit would be the remnants of a person that existed in this reality, died, crossed over, and now that same person's soul pierces back here, yet crossing that thin but solid membrane that separates universes, which are basically on top of each other in a dimensional sense, can't be easy, that would require a lot of energy I imagine. Anyways, it's just my own hypothesis. Maybe I'm off base and it's more spiritual sometimes. Maybe it's just strong emotions from people who legitimately passed away and never crossed over to other realities. The author responded to my comment with a few extra details. They read as, My mom did mention she decided to see if it was anything that could have caused a spirit to be attached to the ground the house was built on, and found the estate 
was built on something that was once industrial, which made me think that maybe there was an accident in a factory, and that there's a lingering spirit in our house based on that. But I guess I'll never know. It's weird that the previous occupant noticed the feeling too, but even weirder that my nana couldn't. I guess my mom thought it was a sinister feeling because it made her feel watched. But she also said she thought it was malevolent. Maybe it's just because it would watch, I don't know. Interesting theory though. I suppose we can never truly know anything about the afterlife until we get to see it for ourselves. And that concludes our two stories for the night. If you enjoyed them and my narration of them, then consider leaving a like and also sharing the video. It's an excellent way to support the channel, but only if you'd like to, no pressure. And if you'd like to subscribe, I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6pm EST. I'll see you all there.